we read in the portion of Miketz, Ayi Miketz no Saim Yomim, and it was at the end of two years, Ufaro Cholem, and Paro begins dreaming. Vine Omed al Hayor, and he's standing next to the Nile. What is the significance of the two years? So Rashi, at the end of the previous parsha, the Torah tells us that after Yosef had interpreted the dreams, or the dream of the wine steward, the Saramashkim, he had made a request of him. Uskartani viskartani. Remember me and mention me. So Rashi, so what does the Torah tell us? The Saramashkim did not remember Yosef and he forgot him. So Rashi on the word Vayishkocheu and he forgot him. Lachmikan. Why did he forget him? Because Yosef, he put his faith in him to be remembered. So therefore he had to remain an additional two years imprisoned. Shenemar, Rashi cites the Chazal, it's a Midrash, Posuk and Tilim, Ashri Agevesher Som Hashem Miftacho. Fortune is the man who puts God as his faith. Vulo Ponel Rehovim, and he did not turn to heathens. Lobotach al Mitzrayim, Hakrim Rav. He did not put his faith in Egyptians who call Rav heathens. So because Yosef failed by putting his faith in this Egyptian, to be asked to be remembered and to be mentioned. Therefore, he spent, this was considered a failing, he spent an additional two years for each word, an additional year in prison. So when the two years are up, when it was the end of those two years, Paro begins dreaming. Over here, the Archaim Kodesh explains, it seems to be, there's a certain connotation, Paruch Olam, he was dreaming all along. It says, Paruch Olam, he dreamt. And he's not able, what's the Cholam? Cholam, grammatically, is in the present. He's continuously dreaming. So he explains, according to one interpretation, after the tenth year, continuously he dreamt. This dream, except he forgot the dream. However, at the end of two years, not only did he dream it, he retained the dream. Why did he retain it now? But he's been dreaming it continuously. Because now, he needs an interpretation. Sarmashkim now will recall what had happened. I'm acknowledging my sin today. In the, in the prison with us was this lad, this unstable person, this fool. This foreigner, he interpreted our dreams. So therefore, Faro Cholem, it was continuous, but only now did he retain it. So I was thinking that factually, if Yosef wouldn't have failed regarding asking the Sarah Mashkim, the wine steward, remember me and be mentioned, Yosef would have been released after 10 years. Correct? So if that's the case, when, would far, when was Paro supposed to start dreaming? after 10 years. And the same story would have happened. The Sarah Mashkim would have realized, so how does Yosef gain fame and prominence and to be exalted? Somebody has to share with Paro what happened. So therefore, when was he meant to start dreaming? After 10 years. Because that's when he was meant to be released. However, if Paro would have retained the dream after 10 years, he would have summoned immediately. But factually, Yosef has to stay the additional two years. So therefore, when does he start dreaming, which indicates that's when he was meant to be released, immediately after 10 years. However, he didn't retain the dream, because then Yosef would have been released sooner. Therefore, when did he finally retain it? It was only after the two years, the additional two years were over, had passed. Now he retains it. Now he needs an interpretation. Now the Saramashkim perks up and says, Eschatoy ani maskiyom. Now I acknowledge my sin. And he shares with Paro that there was a person who had the ability to interpret the dream. 
but it says Vayishkocheyu. It says Velo Zochar Amashkim Es Yosef Vayishkocheyu, and he had forgotten him. So one interpretation of the Orachaim of Yishkocheyu, he explains. Yishkocheyu means normally a person. We remember things, but if let's say you don't want to remember something, you intentionally forget it. He did not remember him, but not only did he remember him, he intentionally intended to forget him. But even though it's Vishkocheyu, you understand, but if Hashem wants to awaken your memory, you're going to remember. So that's what he writes. But God doesn't forget. But he's Korea the Tova, and he's going to be remembered in a good vein. Regardless, as much as you don't want to remember him, God is going to put you in a position that you're forced to recall what happened and share it with Paro.